Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a iPhone 7 or 7 Plus and you want to know how to add multiple language keyboards. I'm going to show you how to do that. Very simple to do. As you can see here, I have three languages. I have English, Chinese, and the default emoji on here. Now the thing is when we add multiple languages to the keyboard, it's going to work on all of your apps. Your SMS text messaging map, WhatsApp, Line, Facebook Messenger, AOL Messenger, it's all going to be the same once you add multiple languages, okay? So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and add a new language on here, and I'll show you how to do that. First thing you want to do is go into your settings. So go to settings, and then you want to go to general, and then you want to look for keyboard, tap on keyboard, and then on the very top it says keyboards here. You can see I have the number three there because I have those three languages. So tap on that, and you can see I have three keyboard languages, English, Chinese, and the emoji. Now if I want to go ahead and add a new language, tap on add new keyboard here, and then you can see multiple languages, tons of languages down here, okay? And for example purposes, let's go ahead and add Korean on here. Okay, here's Korean, tap on Korean, and now I need to type the layout, I'll go ahead and stick with standard here, I'll click on done, and now you can see Korean down here. Now if I go into any kind of text messaging or messenger app, I'll just go to my regular SMS text messaging app, but it, it doesn't matter, wherever your keyboard is, even if you do an email or anything like that, you're gonna have this option on here as well. So if you look on the bottom left down here, you see that globe down here? If I press and hold this, now all the languages I have installed for this multiple language keyboard, you can see right here, English, Chinese, the emojis, and Korean here. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and start typing with Korean, I would type in Korean. If I press and hold and I want to go back to English, tap on English. Another thing that you can do as well is just tap. Instead of pressing and holding, you can just tap it. So right now I'm on English keyboard. If I tap it, now I'm on Chinese. If I tap it again, now I'm on emojis. If I tap on this right here, now I'm on Korean. If I tap it again, I'm back to English. So pretty simple. Now if you want to go ahead and delete a language, you simply go back into your settings again. And then you tap on edit, top right hand corner, tap on that, and then you can delete whatever you want. Let's go ahead and delete Korean. So I'll tap on that red dot right there, and I'll tap on delete. Then you gotta make sure that you press on done. And now Korean is gone. So pretty simple to do. I hope that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.